Hi everybody. What about those vaginal estrogens? Question. Barbara, I'm so confused. My doctor wants me to use vaginal estrogen cream for dryness, but then my girlfriends tell me how bad it can be to use estrogen. Can you help me understand? Of course. This is a common question from those of you who call me and are worried because your doctor gave you a prescription for vaginal estrogen. Now here's the facts. You want bioidentical vaginal estrogen. That has a low risk profile and it's safe for most women to use. It's applied directly to the vagina and it works by rebuilding the lining of the vagina and the urethra and helping to maintain muscle tone of both areas. Now, it's all pretty much stays in the vaginal tissue. The tissue is like a sponge and soaks it right up. Only a very small amount is absorbed systemically, meaning in the bloodstream. So you don't have to worry. If your estrogen goes really low, your vaginal tissue will suffer. When vaginal tissue is healthy, it's pink, moist and elastic and doesn't give you any problems. With atrophy and aging and low estrogen, the tissue can become gray, dry, and thin. And the symptoms are vaginal dryness, vaginal irritation, itching, you might start getting frequent urinary tract infections or burning with urination. That's because the area between the vagina and the urethra has gotten so thin and bacteria can cross back and forth between the walls. I had one woman tell me in relation to this problem, it feels like the Sahara Desert down there. Well, it doesn't have to. The vaginal bioidentical estrogen provides enough estrogen to relieve the symptoms and reverse the changes. So what to look for? You want to look to see if you have a product that contains estradiol, or estriol. Those are the two bioidenticals and you do not need to be afraid to use it. Women can see dramatic improvement in vaginal dryness and urinary symptoms within weeks. If you don't address the problem, it doesn't resolve by itself. It'll just keep getting worse and worse. And you know what I always say, you were not designed to suffer. So vaginal estrogen is not associated with blood levels of estrogen rising or abnormal growth of the uterine lining. And there's no increased risk found uh, of breast cancer in women who've never had breast cancer. If you have a history of breast cancer and you've tried some non-hormonal options and they're not working for you, ask your doctor about estriol or estradiol. He will very likely let you use it. So. Don't be afraid if you have one of these two estrogens, okay? I don't want you to have the terrible symptoms of vaginal dryness. So, if you want more information on vaginal dryness, I've got it all written down for you. What you can do. And if you want a good product that contains estriol, email me. No Sahara Desert for us.